What's going on everybody, it's Risky here, welcome back to a brand new video on the Hunter Call of the Wild on my channel here today, and in today's video we're going to be talking about some more things that I would love to see added into the Hunter Call of the Wild. A lot of you guys, uh, I got a couple of people requesting me to do another video like this, just saying some things that they would like to, that, that I want to see added, so maybe they can get some ideas and give me some ideas in the comment section, so today's video is gonna be me talking about um, some things that I would love, love to see added to the Hunter Call of the Wild that would make this game so much better and just so much more enjoyable. I would play this game all day, every day, um, which I don't really play it that much, surprisingly. I play it a good bit, but not all day, every day like I would if I had these following things in the game. But uh, before I start that, I just want to say thank you guys so much for the recent support on my videos, and I hope you guys are having an amazing day, and uh, if you do go on to enjoy this video and want some things added and some things that you would like to see added to the Hunter Call of the Wild, be sure to let me know about those things in the comment section down below. So uh, getting right into the first thing that I would love to see is turkeys. Turkeys are a very well-known hunted bird and you know we all we all love some good turkey on a Thanksgiving. Uh, but anyways, turkey would be very cool. We could get some new shotguns along with that item. Some turkey calls. Uh, and we got a pig right up here. This is a live commentary, by the way. Um, uh, we get some t cool turkey calls, some turkey blinds, um, just turkeys. I'm, just, I'm not gonna be going over too much in depth of just of everything. I'm just gonna be saying them and then talking about them for a second. But yeah, there we go, turkeys. And something that I've been really seeing is crocodiles uh, and gators. Cause and whenever you go to like a new animal or something, like the hints on the Hunter Call of the Wild Twitter, people in the comments or the replies are always like. We should get some kind of water animal, like a uh, a beaver or a crocodile or otter or something, you know? Um, so, I think that'd be cool. It would be different. I don't know how they would do it. Because in some states, you can shoot them with guns. Some states, you got to have a harpoon. Something, some states, you got to bang stick them. Uh, so, I don't know how they would do that. But I would definitely, I would buy the DLC for some, some gators and some gator equipment. I would definitely do that. Or crocodile, whichever one. Um... Another thing I would like to see is mountain goat and some pronghorn. I like those different types types of animals. I'm pretty sure they have pronghorn and mountain goat in the Hunter Classic, so they could definitely do it in this game. And I think they would be pretty neat animals uh, to be seen in the Hunter Call of the Wild. Uh, I just like mountain goat. I've always watched videos of that. I've never done it in real life, but I think it would be very cool to do it in game and real life one day, maybe if I ever get the chance to do that. Uh, one thing that I don't know if they'll ever be able to add that I've heard people say that they can't add really is lion lion would be a really really cool to see into the game um, I don't even know if you can hunt lion I have no idea about hunting lion I I don't know so um, let me know if you can hunt lion I'm pretty sure you can on certain places in like Africa and stuff wherever the hell they have lions um, something that is not an animal but would make this game very very cool what they also have in the hunter classic is a trophy lodge you can uh, just you know basically mount your trophy as you would in real life and it just makes it much more enjoyable and much more rewarding because you know you go out and you get a trophy animal you, you, in the hunter call of the wild you don't get a chance to go back and see it. I'm, I mean you can go to your, like your hunter log and stuff and go back in there and see the score of it and everything but you can't see a visual representation of that animal so if you had the trophy lodge you'd go and you could mount your animal send to the trophy lodge or however you do it I don't know I've never played the hunter classic um, and then boom you could see it there whenever you go to your trophy lodge and it would be a very very cool feature another thing that they have in the hunter classic that I would love to see in the hunter call of the wild is the trophy shot camera where you can set up your animal your harvest and your character and everything for a nice trophy shot and get some cool screenshots of it and save them and go back and look and show your friends and like how big of an animal you killed uh, I think that would just be a cool feature and a pretty simple feature to add in the game that I think should be added and will most likely be added one day I'm I'm sure something along the lines would be added like that another thing I would love to be seen in the game and a lot of you would like to be seen in the hunter call of the wild is ladder stands and climbers and and you know stuff like that uh personally in real life i hunt a tree stand a lot you know 
and I think it would be really fun to do. I've always, whenever I first got this game, I was so excited to see if they had tree stands in it, and I was let down. I used to play a game, I think it was uh, Cabela's Dangerous Hunts 2003 or 2013 or something, and they had tree stands in that and climbers, and it was so cool. It was on the PlayStation 2, I remember. It was a freaking awesome game, and uh, I wish they could add that in this game. And they also have them in the Hunter Classic, so, you know, they could very easily add them into this game. Well, I don't know about easily, but I'm sure they can make it happen. And I I, I would definitely buy that DLC for sure. Uh, another thing I would love to see is longbows. We have the recurve bow in the, the regular compounds and the crossbows. I would love to see some different variety of crossbows. I, I don't like the fact that they only add one type whenever they add a weapon. They just add one type, but they add the variance of the weapons. I would like to see multiple. Like, say they add a 243. I would like to see different types of 243s or different types of 308s different types of recurve bows and stuff like that it would just give it more variety and you know just give it more options more variety and make it a lot cooler i guess uh yeah i would enjoy that and something else that i see a lot in my comment sections and stuff about things that people want added is uh what is it i have it written down here muzzle loaders i would love to see muzzle loaders as well uh, I don't muzzle load hunt in real life. I don't have a muzzle loader, but uh, I think it would be very cool to be able to do it in game. Is that a four easy? I have no idea what diamonds are for the wild loader beast. I don't think that is a diamond. But anyways, uh, so muzzle loaders would be very very cool. And another thing that we were all hoping to get with the duck and cover DLC was a water vehicle such as a canoe, a kayak, or like a little John boat. I would absolutely love to see this and an another map where there's a bunch of canals, swampy, and stuff like that. If you could combine a canoe, a bow, a longbow or something, and a, uh, a climber stand, and go out through a swamp and paddle along until you find a good spot, go out there and, like, just park your boat up and go out there in the woods, climb up in your climber, and then just sit out there until sunrise and stuff I would that would be a blast in my opinion I would love to see that those three things right there at it a climber stand m different bows and a kayak and a swampy map with a bunch of canals and everything in it that would be so cool I don't know I just I live in Florida there's a lot of swamps and stuff like that here and a lot of people hunt like here hunt like that here and it would be a very cool experience for the hunter called the wild another thing I would love to see added is uh, feeders uh, and you know in real life you have the feeders you can put some corn in it and uh, I'm pretty sure they have feeders in the hunter classic that you can go out and you can select I don't know I don't know how they work but I know they have feeders and you can go out and they'll just attract the animals because they have feed in them obviously I don't really know how they would work in game but I'm sure you could find something and they would make it work uh, and that would be very very cool it would also uh, give you something if you had tree stands you can go out and you could set up a feeder in a field and you you know go out to that tree and sit there and wait till the animals come to that feeding station and and feed. I think it would be a very very cool item to be added into the game. Another thing I would love to be seen in I would love to see in the Hunter Call of the Wild is different clothing styles. We only have a different a couple different clothing styles. We have like the scout or the yeah the the junk the the one that I'm on I have on right now for Ver, the Verhanga map. I forgot what it's called. Uh, the warden outfit, I think it is. They have like the fur outfit for Hirschfelden. I've passed up so many animals, by the way. I'm not even trying to hunt right now. Um, <clears throat> they have, and then they have a couple different camouflages. They have like the regular ones. They have like an orange one, a green one, and then a camouflage one. Um, and then I think they have a winter camo. I'm not too sure about that. I, I think they do, but I don't know for sure. Um, so if we could get like 3D leaf suits and stuff, different camo varieties, like an autumn colored one, you know, different varieties for each map, different like camo styles, I think that would be very, very cool just to give it, give the game some more options and features and just like cosmetic effects and maybe actually make them, the different camos actually help you in that certain area. Um, uh, yeah, different camos and stuff. And another thing, I think I said it in like one of my last videos, not too long ago, is something that would just spice up the game and probably not be too hard for them to do. But I don't know, they don't really know how to update their game properly at the moment. Uh, they're they're very they rush things too much. 
uh, as you've seen in my rant video. <clears throat> but I think a monthly weapon pack or something like that, a monthly item pack, would be very cool. Whoa, what the heck? Um, that's, that's not supposed to be like that. <laughs> um, but something like, say you get a weapon pack every like middle of the month or beginning of the month. And uh, it don't have to be every month, maybe every month or two. And it'll add uh, a different weapon or maybe two different weapons of every single type. Like a two bows, two pistols, two shotguns, two rifles. Uh, and it'll add sights for those weapons, you know, and stuff like that. Maybe different types of tree stands if they ever add that. Different types of camouflages, different different clothing items. different Cool stuff like that would just bring this game to life and just make it so much more popular. And it would make the player experience so much better and so much more enjoyable. Because when you go out here, you basically are doing the same thing all the time. Because there's not too much things to do. You know, if you had the luxury of having a climber stand, um, or a tree stand, a ladder stand, and stuff, you could go out and do some tree stand hunting one day. Next day you could go out, and you could do some turkey hunting in a blind. Next day you could go out in a canoe, and go paddling down the river, and set up some decoys and shoot some ducks, you know. There would just be endless varieties and ideas that you could do, and you could set yourself some challenges to go out and do, and it would just make this game so much more fun. But, um, I'm not bashing the Hunter Call of the Wild, Expansive World, Creators, or whatever. Um, I'm not bashing them at all. They can definitely do some things with this game, and I'm sure they are planning on adding a lot of these things that I listed in the near future. Uh, as we are knowing that, as we do know that they are getting more consistent with their updates, even though they have had a lot of issues whenever they release an update, as in... You know, consoles get them much later than the PC, or they have a bunch of bugs whenever they come out, or they cause a lot of bugs. So, I think they'll get the crap together one day, and they'll figure it out, and they'll start to make this game what it truly should be, and kind of make it similar to the Hunter Classic, if not better. So, if you guys did enjoy the video and found anything that you would like to see added, be sure to let me know in the comment section what you would like to see added and stuff like that. And uh, if you have not already subscribed to the channel, please be sure to do that. I appreciate every single one of you that do hit the subscribe button. And until next time, guys, it's been Risky, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.